Good afternoon, folks. We have a lot in store for us weather-wise today, so we'll go through the four-day fairly quick. Today, we're expecting to see highs in the mid to upper 80s with lows into the lower 70s. Even a possibility we could dip into the 60s tonight. Some isolated, severe thunderstorm development is expected later today, and we'll break into that in just a moment. Tomorrow, expect it to be mostly cloudy with peaks of sunshine throughout the day. Given some cloud cover, we're going to be a little bit cooler in both the day and night, so we'll get a bit of a break from some of this heat. For Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be completely clear as some of that upper level ridging that we talked about earlier this week really starts to build in, leading to some pretty hot days and clear skies. But folks, the most concerning thing for today in regard to this severe weather threat is the possibility for a few tornadoes and some very large hail. We have a measure of the instability in the atmosphere we use called CAPE, and generally for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes, 1,000 joules per kilogram of CAPE is good enough, and today we have CAPE in excess of 4,500 joules per kilogram, just an explosive amount of instability, as well as some wind shear from a weak low-level jet above our heads. This wind shear will allow for these storms to begin rotating and, and become what we call supercell thunderstorms. And given the very high instability today, these supercell thunderstorms will likely produce a few tornadoes, potentially even a strong tornado. In general, the tornado risk is right in the middle there. Not an extreme threat by any means, but definitely a concern going through the day today. The hail threat is very high as well, given that instability we're seeing. Wouldn't be surprised at all if some hail around the size of baseballs is reported with some of these storms today. The wind threat is also pretty notable, a pretty high chance today of some strong wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, possibly even a few significant wind gusts in the 70 mile per hour range are possible today as well. All in all, today could get a little serious, severe weather-wise, so please make sure you have your plans in place, as well as somewhere safe to go in the event a tornado warning is issued for your area. Make sure you all stay weather aware as we go through the next few hours. Make sure you're listening to us on the TV or the Storm Alert 22 app so you can get the latest news and weather information as it develops. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 197, effective until 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Indiana, Boone, Carroll, Clay, Clinton, Fountain, Hamilton, Hancock, Hendricks, Howard, Madison, Marion, Montgomery, Park, Putnam, Tippecanoe, Tipton, Vermilion and Vigo. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area.
While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. National Weather Service? Uh, my name's Bill Harding. I'm a train spotter and chaser for First Alert 22, calling in to report a bowl funnel just west of Wayne Town, pretty much over U.S. Route 136. Big RFD surge on this thing just now, and it's about to spin up as we speak. Thank you for the report, sir. Have you seen any ground circulation, maybe some dirt kicked up or anything like that happening on the ground? Nothing as of yet, but it's really, really... Scratch that tornado is now on the ground. I'm seeing a big, broad circulation on the ground right now. Pat, big time tornado developing in this field wow, right look at in that. front of me, currently unwarned, and this thing is getting stronger. Thank you, Bill. This footage is unbelievable. I, listen, folks at home, a tornado is now confirmed uh, on the ground with this storm. So everyone downstream of this in Wayne Town, you guys need to be in your tornado safe places, um, either a basement storm cellar or most interior room of your house. Wow, just look at that. Uh, we have a new radar update in, and it's Holy a little cow. hard to see, but we have a small drop on the correlation coefficient here, and we talked about this earlier, but that lets us know we have debris in the air. So now confirmed by both spotters and radar folks, a fairly large and what looks to be significant tornado is on the ground as we speak. This storm is still unwarned by the National Weather Service folks, but expect that to change any minute now. Linda, you can also go ahead and keep refreshing the radar and see if we have any new warnings up or anything. No new warnings up just yet, Patrick, but in NWS chat, they are letting us know that a confirmed tornado warning is on the way and that an upgrade to PDS is possible wow. as well, just given the apparent intense motion of the tornado. That is a big deal, folks. You all really need to be in your tornado safe spots and preferably underground for this one. Yeah, folks, this is most certainly a big deal. Bill's live feed is cut off for the moment, but just looking at the last image, um, this thing certainly means business. Uh, no official warning up just yet, but everyone in and just south of Wayne Town and pretty much along US 136 here really needs to be in their tornado safe spots immediately. Remember to wear sturdy shoes, helmets, um, bring some pillows and even a mattress if you can in your shelter to help protect you. Really whatever you can, folks. We don't want you guys getting hurt out there. And uh, just as you were speaking, Pat, the confirmed tornado warning is up. Right now, the polygon covers portions of East Central Fountain and Central and West Central Montgomery County as well. Those in Wayne Town and Crawfordsville, you guys are now under a confirmed tornado warning, so please take shelter immediately. This is the real deal, folks. 100% Linda, uh, storms today were not expected to be this visible. So that is a blessing. We're able to show you guys this thing. This is what we call a low precipitation supercell. All that basically means is this storm is really not uh, pumping out a whole lot of rain. Uh, you know, new radar update here as well. And that drop on the correlation coefficient seems to have gotten deeper as well as a little debris ball in the reflectivity. So folks, this tornado has not lifted one bit and has likely grown or intensified since our last uh, visual on it. Now, Bill, are you still able to hear us? Uh, loud and clear, Pat. This thing is getting really strong, hasn't grown much in width, but is a serious drill bit right now. Very intense winds at the surface, Pat. People really, really need to be underground. Uh, have you observed any damage or anything like that? Well, Pat, I've seen nothing yet in terms of structural damage, but it's picking up and twisting up these irrigation sprinklers like nothing. I mean, full on tossing them. 
Wow, folks, just really try to envision that. This tornado is strong enough to literally lift and throw those irrigation sprinklers and completely twist them up. Pat, I'm seeing some videos on Twitter of this thing up close, and it appears we have some damage near a farm just west of Wayne Town. Not sure what was hit, but it looks like some sort of metal building was completely blown apart by this oh, good thing. Lord. Not only that, but multiple chasers are reporting intense motion in the tornado and are suggesting it's likely significant ballparking it around EF2 or EF3 strength. Now, guys, we won't know a tornado's rating or wind speeds until the Weather Service gets out there to survey the damage sometime tomorrow. But the fact that experienced chasers are saying this is certainly something to take note of. Absolutely. We haven't seen a tornado like this in our broadcast area in quite some time, folks. So we're really pleading with you here to take shelter. Uh, Bill Radar hasn't yet updated. So can you tell us how everything looks and where it's heading? Again, Pat, it's not growing width-wise, but it's just a really strong, fully condensed cone at this point. It's moving at probably 35 to 45 miles per hour, too, and it's crossing the road right up in front of me near 136, heading into Waynetown. I do believe this thing is going to go just north of Waynetown uh, since it's really becoming a more right-moving supercell now, but I really wouldn't be taking my chances. All right, so according to Bill, the uh, wow, these new radar scans are just getting more and more concerning. Deeper debris signature on the correlation coefficient, as well as a much more defined debris ball on reflectivity. Man, folks, you really just don't want to see that. Now, even though Bill said the tornado looks like it's going to skirt just to the north of Waynetown, it looks like a seriously close call. Folks, I really would stay in your shelters until this thing passes. And uh, Patrick, in NWS chat right now, the Weather Service in Indianapolis says they're getting ready to pull the trigger on a PDS tornado warning and that it should be out at any moment. They also mentioned that given downstream conditions, a significant tornado threat will likely persist with this supercell as it can continues to grow in such an unstable environment without interference from other storms, especially since this storm in specific has only been around for less than an hour and is already producing what looks to be a significant tornado. Surface observations in the Waynetown area also show winds to be a little more backed than expected. So we're likely seeing larger values of wind shear in this area, really exacerbating the tornado threat here. The National Weather Service in Indianapolis has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Tippecanoe County in west central Indiana, southwestern Clinton County in central Indiana, northwestern Boone County in central Indiana, northern Montgomery County in west central Indiana, until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located 9 miles east of Vetersburg, or 10 miles west of Crawfordsville, moving east at 40 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, trained weather spotters confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Major tree damage and long duration power outages in the path of the tornado are expected. Significant damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Wayne Town around 5.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Darlington, Colfax, Crawfordsville, and Linden. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Keep this full screen, Linda. This is just unbelievable.
Like I said, though, Pat, this thing is a huge, dusty monster with a cone right in the middle of it. I mean, just look at this thing. This is incredible. Folks, I know we sound like a broken record, but this is seriously the real deal. This thing will hurt you if you're not sheltered, and I cannot stress that enough. Seriously, just wow, look at that. My God, Pat, look at that motion. Might even be violent. This thing is just ripping near the ground. Holy cow. I haven't seen a tornado like this in quite a long time, guys. This is ridiculous. Been on the ground more than 10 minutes now. I am really just speechless. It's not that often we're able to see tornadoes this clear, especially on days like today when we Power expect them to. Oh, hit. man, this is really not good, folks. If you're for some reason still not in shelter, this should really be your stimulus here to start moving because holy cow, this is impressive. Yeah, I think Bill's camera feed is down again, but this last shot is just scary, folks. We got debris in the air. I think it just hit a house. Oh, God. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Montgomery County Office of Emergency Management and Homeland Security. The National Weather Service continues to track a large and extremely dangerous tornado one mile northwest of Waynetown, moving east at 40 miles per hour. This tornado is expected to cross Interstate 74 one mile north of Waynetown within the next few minutes and begin paralleling or even move atop Interstate 74 heading east. All drivers on or merging onto Interstate 74 in Montgomery County need to head to the nearest exit and drive south away from the tornado if possible. Heading north may also work. However, this is heavily discouraged given damaging winds and large hail that exist deeper into the storm. This tornado may also abruptly change direction and begin moving northeast putting you in extreme danger. If no exits are available, pull off to the side of the road and lay flat in the nearest ditch. Make sure to cover your head and neck and protect vital areas of your body. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Montgomery County Office of Emergency Management and Homeland Security and the Indiana Department of Transportation. Following an intense tornado earlier today, areas along Interstate 74 north of Waynetown have been littered with debris. Several overturned vehicles, tree limbs, and pieces of homes have littered the interstate and will take several hours to remove. For the time being, please refrain from traveling on Interstate 74 in Montgomery County until at least 2 a.m. We thank you for your patience and cooperation.